looks like uh, I just got done crying because I was crying. Uh, like The Flash, I lost my mother and a certain scene was uh, in particular. It, it was hard to deal with. Now, let's get on with this movie review. So, one of my most anticipated movies of the year, The Flash. Boy, trying to figure out how I want to, I'm just going to go off the top of the dome like I normally do. First and foremost, one thing that really stuck out like a sore thumb was the special effects. Boy, at times they were very cartoony and very green screeny. It's just like, Wow. How do you say you're using the green screen without saying you're using the green screen? There were several times in the movie where it took me out of it because of that. There were certain times where it was chef's kiss, kiss just some of the best special effects I've seen. Just, just done great. I can tell that the director was uh, do, trying their best to emulate I feel the tone and look of Zack Snyder's films. I think I had heard that he hopes Zack watches it and likes it. Um, I will have to say that the most irritating part of this movie, parts of this movie, are the fact that, and you've seen it in the trailers, you know that Barry and Barry are in this movie. The interactions, the conversations, the jokes. The younger Barry is an absolute idiot moron. He's obnoxious. He's stupid. I'm telling you, it's it's hard to deal with throughout the movie at times. Now, let's get on to the good things. Uh, the cameos. It was cool to see the cameos that we got to see. Uh, especially with how the movie ends. Uh, just plenty of fan service. If you are down with the lore, if you have heard conspiracy theories and thoughts and stories about different Superman movies and stuff like that in particular... Kevin Smith, if you heard Kevin Smith telling his story about how he's reading his script to a particular producer, go watch that, please. Please watch that before you go see The Flash. You must watch that, please, because it's going to make other stuff hit better. But there are uh, other Justice League characters in the movie. Um, you know, it deals with multiverse, so there's plenty of fan service, plenty of cameos. There is one post credit scene, which I thought was stupid. You don't need to see it. It doesn't matter. But you know how a lot of us geeks and nerds are. We're completionists. So yeah, go ahead. Stay till the end and watch it. But trust me, if you miss it, it don't mean nothing. I didn't catch anything that in there that you need to see. Next, um, the acting. The acting was good to great, depending on the actor that was on um, the screen. No matter what you think of him, Ezra Miller was great. He really was. He was really good at playing those two different personalities and um, delivering that whole jittery, nerdy, you know, Barry that has become synonymous with his flash. Um, him and Michael Keaton were the best part of the movie. Uh, I really liked Michael Keaton. They did kind of just some dumb stuff with him when they introduced him, but you know, I'm like, okay, you know, but I will have to say, man, trust me, you are going to love the Batman fight scenes. Batman, stuntman, whoever you were in that one fight scene, you know what I'm talking about. You are badass, my friend. It makes me wonder if they use the same one for Batfleck or not. Batflex a bigger Batman, so I would assume that they didn't. But, man, this dude moves like a monster, man. A true martial artist. Wait till y'all see it. Supergirl, 
she was okay to me. She was just meh. She was okay. Um, things don't go the way you think they're going to go with her. Things don't go the way you think they're going to go with Zod. Things don't go the way you think they're going to go with Batman. There are some surprises in this movie. I was really kind of shocked in a way that they did it that way. But considering uh, we are getting a new universe... Uh, maybe that's why, but they didn't have to. They really didn't have to. Uh, but whatever, it's its own separate story. Batfleck. Batfleck did his thing. Um, there's some cool parts with him. The suit they give him in this is really stupid. It's a stupid suit. Once you, once you see, you've seen the trailers. Once he's not on the motorcycle anymore, doing Batman stuff, they run into another Justice League member, and um, he does something, and I'm just like, oh, they're making him look like a complete idiot right now. I get they're interjecting humor, but wow, he looks like a complete idiot. And the suit, you get to see him standing in the suit, and the suit looks stupid. Okay? <laughs> I'm saying, listen, you come to me for an honest, honest, honest truth review, right? All right, I'm giving it to you about what I felt without spoiling it for you. Um, but overall, you know, he, he did a good job. Um, let me see what else. Other than that, I, you know, I will give this, the movie, what took me out of it. Uh, there's more than one villain in the movie, by the way. And one you can kind of see coming, but I thought it was somebody else, but it wasn't. It ends up being somebody else who I... Then I was like, okay, I get it. But at first, I thought it was one of two other villains that a lot of you would probably think too. But it's not. It ends up, you know, and it's like, ah, okay, I get it. Um, what, what, what took, I'm going to, I can't give this movie a five out of five at all. Um, and I can't give it even a four out of five. However, what I can give it is a 3.75 out of 5. Woo! It's above average entertainment. It's a good movie. But the stupidity, the, 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 the stupid co comedy that they did with him, the, just the moron that that other Barry is, it just irritated me to so many lengths. I just, you know... And all the green screen and bad CGI, which I know they had the ability to make better and clean up. Because I've seen other movies from DC where it was much better. I don't know what, what, why they didn't, some of it looks unfinished. It absolutely does look unfinished. So, um, but other than that, I think that. All DC fans should see it. All Superman, I mean, superhero fans should see it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely believe it's worth seeing. I don't think it's a masterpiece, but I think it's a good movie. And I don't know if they held back. I mean, I heard it was in production hell, so I, I don't know if they held back on budget in certain places because they didn't know what they were going to do with it or whether you're going to bring it out or not or what. I, I don't know all the specifics, but I absolutely know that they could have done better with the special effects. I just went, they think they went overboard with the comedy and the stupidity of the younger Barry, but you know, um, you know, they kind of make a joke to it. The kind of like an understanding is made of like, damn, like, okay, this is why the Flash has problems <laughs> with making friends in the movie. But, uh, yeah. So go see it. Let me know what you all think. And if you enjoyed my movie review, make sure you hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Just trying to think if I forgot anything. I don't think I forgot anything. Yeah. Good job, Machete. 10 million subscribers. Woo!